Now, before lockdown, many young people looked up to their favourite YouTubers and aspired to become just like them. But since lockdown, it seems that TikTok has taken over with the app being most popular with younger generations. Many young people now watch and post their own videos, which can both easily be done within the TikTok app. I mean, I'm always scrolling through TikTok and I, I come across some bizarre things sometimes. And I came across someone a while back who goes by the name of The Don. His username is one word, Big C, the letter C, The Don, D-O-N. And he's now become what some people might describe as a TikTok sensation, and he joins me now. Hello there. What's up, man? What's up? How are you doing? You're right. What's up, people? Don here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty good, pretty good. It's about two o'clock in Los Angeles, so I just woke up. And uh, yeah, man. We wake you up. You're on holiday, or you were just chilling over there? Yeah, just yeah, just chilling, really. Just, um, yeah, not much chilling holiday basically because i live in london yeah. all my videos are made in london so i'm taking a little break from videos for about a week and then i'll be back with new and better videos cool so you so, yeah. go by the name of the don on tiktok yeah, yeah. But what's, what's your real name my real name's cosmo that's my c-o-s-m-o that's my real name and i've heard that so, people uh, don't often believe that that's your real name either no they don't <laughs> they don't <laughs> you know everything yeah they don't they don't believe that's my real name either for some reason because it's also a very interesting name mm. and uh yeah um so just explain to me what sort of videos do you do so they're usually it's i'd say it's kind of a genre that i've sort of created it's basically disturbing the peace in public um creating a awkward sort of situation and um getting some sort of comedic value out of it basically I'd say that's a good way to put it and um it's all in the reaction and the script um that i create and the character as well basically mostly so, so you call it education and your your education yeah. is also often like accompanied by some noises can you give, can you give yeah. us an example of that yeah okay so there's about there's about i'd say there's about three different noises okay um the one that you probably hear kind of varies. So there's the first one, which is kind of like... Right. And then there's a the second one, which is sort of a bit more loud. And I've kind of done it so many times that I've basically lost my voice permanently, I think, from it, which is more like... That's the second one. And the first one I ever did when the video started was just a simple. That's all free. Now, now the best thing about TikTok mm -hmm. is that often the accounts that have quite a large amount of followers are the accounts that often have the most random videos. I mean, why did the where did this come about? Where did the idea come from? What made you think about going to lift and doing this? Um, well, the idea came from literally just. One day I thought it would be funny if there, so I saw two people and I thought it would just be, what I did before was uh, joining people's conversations. So I've always done awkward, you know, style of content. And then uh, it came around when I thought it would be funny to just tell people uh, random facts. So the first video I ever did was uh, telling, just like, you know, telling people weird things. Um, and then I saw the NPC was kind of, uh, I thought that was a funny concept. I think I kind of boosted the whole NPC word and uh, for people to... It's, I think it's more popular now after this. I, will, I don't know if I kind of created it as more something. I'm not sure. But I, I think I definitely gave it more uh, recognition. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it just started off with um, that and then it kind of escalated. So my videos now didn't really emerge as an idea. It just kind of you know they just went from this to that to that to that to that. so it kind of just evolved you know what i mean and then yeah it's, it was a long process actually and a lot of your videos are titled you know telling npcs strange things i mean a lot of people won't know what npc means do you want to sort of explain yeah. what that is basically non-playable character so i'm basically um well bad way to put it is i'm basically dehumanizing humans <laughs> which I don't need to do. I'm not a psychopath. But, um, yeah, uh, it's, uh, it's basically 
you know the the non non playable characters like in video games. So that's what that's what it basically is. Yeah. So you said you, the, the genre you create is sort of a you know you, you like to sort of create an awkward atmosphere with a bit of comedic value to it as well. Yeah. And notice many of your sort of followers in the comments ask how on earth you have yeah. the confidence to do this. Well, I don't know. I mean, I sound normal. I don't really walk into a room usually and um, take con- complete control of it like you'd think a really confident person. It's sort of an act, but it's kind of evolved as second nature at this point. At first, if you asked me to do this two years ago and I didn't do it, I don't think I would be able to necessarily mm. do it. So it would be taking practice to you know, gain even more confidence to, to, to do it. Yeah, so it's it's interesting. I don't I don't really feel like I'm oh really confident when I do. I just feel like it's normal because I'm kind of used to it by now. It's a bit weird. And I heard you mention the other day on a, on a podcast. I think it was that the adrenaline sort of takes over when you're doing it. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Exactly, it does, and it and it just gives me a gives me a bit of a kick, and then I, um, it just gets me straight into the zone, and yeah, I've been. I mean. I've just tried to do whatever I think uh, is funny, whatever. You know, a lot of, actually, a lot of the stuff that I've done is usually other people's ideas as well as a collective. So it's not just me, it's my friends, it's all the people that watch. It's, yeah, it's, it's through the help of everyone, really. It's like, uh, you know what I mean? It wasn't my lift, it wasn't my idea to do the lift. I saw a few comments before saying, oh, I should do this in the lift, I should do this and that. Um, and yeah. And you mentioned your friends. Then, what do your friends and family think about this? Uh, they think they think usually the same as anyone else. Really, uh, that you know, how do you how do you do this? And um, they, the people you know, the people in the lift must be feeling extremely weird, and yeah, just the usual you know type of responses. And it's really interesting because you're doing it in a lift, and obviously that's probably the, one of the best places to create an awkward atmosphere because they they can't escape, can they? No, exactly. That's why. And on tu- uh, train stations and all of that, and I think that's what kind of adds to it. I think that's definitely what adds to the awkwardness. That's what makes it ten times more, you know, ten times better. And are you surprised at how your TikTok account has grown? Yeah, I, I am surprised. Uh, it's quite interesting how tiktok works it's uh you know i i'm on holiday now so i've been taking a little bit of a break but i still do live streams and stuff and um yeah i mean it's grown remarkably quickly it does get quite stressful points if you think if a few videos do well i just think it's the end of the world and that's boom it but nope something always then comes up and then it's like more and more and more and then it and then it's like averaging this amount of views you know, it was like 10,000 at first to like 50 to now 100 and now it's like 300,000 views on average type of thing. So, yeah, I mean, it, it is surprising, but then it becomes a norm to me because um, that's what I'm used to. So, yeah. So let's talk about one of your most recent uh, videos. You went in, was it a church you went into the other day? Explain how that went uh, down. That was a church. That was basically, I, I was basically sitting outside of my friends and I saw... And I, and I and then I saw loads of people going in, and there was they were doing a um, it was it wasn't actually a church service, it was a um, it was like an orchestra type yeah. of thing. So I just thought that that would be probably the number one place to do it, mm. and it, and that was pro- as probably my favorite video I've ever done. Really, that was crazy, crazy. And that took some. That took some. That really did take some balls. That one. That was. That was quite something. I imagine. And do you get people sort of noticing you, in, sort of in the street or whatever these days? Uh, in London, yeah, I'd say three, three times a day. Yeah. Right. Really. Wow. Quite. Yeah. And finally, can we just finish with an example of your education? Yeah. Sure. Let's do. Uh... <laughs> All right. So we can do. Is what we can do Mordecai. Yep. Or Michael Wazowski. It's your choice, man. Oh, um, let's do Mordecai. Right, okay. The classic. Probably yep. the most well-known one. Mm. Most popular one. Right. Mm. Mordecai's Riddles, chapter 69, page 68. On an early summer's morning, it was no one but Mordecai walking across the left side of the bridge. 
pumping by the rear of Michael Wazowski. He would then proceed to make one special sound after the luminosity of Michael Wazowski was just a little bit too much for this man named Mordecai. Stay silent if you'd all like to hear. <laughs> Thank you all for listening, and stay very aware of a man named Mordecai, a man named Michael Wazowski, and many more. You have been educated by... The Don. Thank you. Brilliant. Thank you. Very inspirational, I must say. <laughs> Thank you. That was Cosmo, known on TikTok as The Don. His username is Big yeah, C, no. the letter C, The Don. Thank you. Thank you so much.